Leaked. Latest robotic and future technology news. Weekly news number four. Our world is getting surrounded by robotics and futuristic technologies. Robotics research is blooming with breakthrough innovations. We already have an outline idea about some of them. The rest are completely mind-blowing, which you won't even believe. Today also, we have brought you some of these brainstorming latest inventions of the latest robotics. In this video, we'll show you the latest robotic and future technology news for the fourth week. So watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. That being said, let's begin. Collectives of micro-robots move in a variety of ways. Micro-robot collectives that may move in any desired arrangements have been developed by researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems MPIIS, Cornell University and Shanghai Jiaotong University. The tiny particles can swiftly and reliably change their swarm behavior. The adoptable micro-robotic disks, which float on the water's surface, may travel in circles, dance the boogie, gather up into a clump, spread out like gas, or form a straight line like beads on a string. Each robot is about the width of a human hair. They're made of polymer and then coated with a tiny layer of cobalt. Micro-robots become microscopic magnets thanks to the metal. Researchers from Cornell University MPIIS, and Shanghai Jiaotong University have created a robot that can write in water using electrified particles. The robots are controlled by an algorithm that is triggered by a rotating or oscillating magnetic field. They envision their work as laying the groundwork for future biological uses, less invasive therapies, and environmental cleanup. A video demonstrates how they guide the robots through a course. Next, the robot chef learns to taste as you go in the future. A robot cook has been taught to taste the food at various stages of the chewing process to determine if it is adequately seasoned. Researchers from the University of Cambridge trained its robot chef to judge the saltiness of a meal at different phases of the chewing process, simulating a comparable process in humans, in conjunction with household appliance maker Biko. Their findings might aid the development of automated or semi-automated meal preparation by assisting robots in learning what tastes good and what doesn't therefore improving their cooking skills. We detect a difference in texture and flavor when we chew our meal. Biting into a fresh tomato at the height of summer, for example, releases fluids, and as we chew, saliva and digestive enzymes are released. Our impression of the tomato's flavor changes. The robot chef, who had previously been trained to prepare omelets based on the human feedback, tasted nine distinct varieties of a basic dish of scrambled eggs and tomatoes at three different phases of the chewing process and generated taste maps of the various dishes. The researchers discovered that this taste-as-you-go strategy considerably increased the robot's capacity to judge the saltiness of the dish more rapidly and precisely than previous electronic tasting technologies that only test a single homogenized sample. The findings were published in Frontiers in Robotic and AI. To cook egg and tomatoes, researchers linked a conductance probe, which works as a salinity sensor, to a robot arm, to simulate the textural charge induced by chewing. The scientists blended the egg mixture and had the robot evaluated again. Taste maps of each meal were created using different readings at different moments of chewing. Their findings revealed that robots are significantly better at assessing saltiness than other electronic tasting approaches. Next, engineers go beyond the surface of ionic skin. Ionic skins have shown considerable advantages in the effort to create smart skin that matches the sensing capabilities of real skin. They are comprised of biocompatible, flexible hydrogels that transport an electrical charge through ions. The hydrogels have the suppleness of natural skin, unlike smart skins comprised of plastics and metals. This gives the prosthetic arm or robot hand they are attached a more natural feel and makes them more pleasant to wear. These hydrogels can create voltages when touched, but scientists didn't know how until a team of UBC researchers designed a novel experiment, which was reported in Science Today. Hydrogel sensors function by producing voltages and currents in response to stimuli like pressure or contact, which is known as the piezoionic effect. However, we had no idea how these voltages are generated. Yuta Dobashi, the study's primary author, began working on the project as part of his master's degree in biomedical engineering at UBC. Dobashi developed hydrogel sensors comprising salts with positive and negative ions of various sizes under the guidance of UBC researcher Dr. John Madden. 
magnetic fields were used by him, and researchers from UBC's physics and chemistry departments to measure how the ions moved when pressure was applied to the sensor. Hydrogels perceive pressure in the same manner as people do, which is by shifting ions in reaction to pressure. Creating sensors that interacted directly with cells and the nervous system is an obvious application. This bionic interface is possible with future development of the sensor's skin and nerve interfaces. Ionic devices can be utilized to provide a smart sensing aspect to prosthetic knee cartilage. For example, a piezo-ionic gel implant might release medications dependent on the amount of pressure it detects. According to Dr. Madden, the market for smart skins is expected to reach $4.5 billion in 2019 and is expected to continue to rise. Smart skins can be worn as undergarments or applied directly to the skin. Next, according to experts, physiological signals might be the key to developing emotionally intelligent AI. Voice and language recognition technology are continuously evolving, resulting in the development of unique speech dialogue systems like Amazon, Alexa, and Siri. The inclusion of emotional intelligence in conversational artificial intelligence AI systems is a big step forward. In addition to comprehending words, a system that can identify the user's emotional states would provide a compassionate reaction, resulting in a more immersive experience for the user. The gold standard for an AI conversation system with sentiment recognition is multimodal sentiment analysis, which is a collection of algorithms. These approaches are critical for human-centered AI systems because they can automatically evaluate a person's psychological condition based on their speech, voice color, facial expression, and posture. The method might lead to the creation of an emotionally intelligent AI with human-like characteristics that recognize the user's feelings and responds appropriately. Current emotion estimates approaches, on the other hand, solely consider visible data and ignore information included in non-observable signals such as physiological signals. Such signals are a potential goldmine of emotions, with the potential to greatly increase sentiment estimation ability. For the first time, physiological data were included in multimodal sentiment analysis. This might open the way for AI-based conversation systems that are very emotionally sophisticated. By perceiving a shift in everyday emotional states, emotionally intelligent AI systems might assist diagnose and tracking mental diseases. They might also be useful in education, where AI could determine if a learner is enthusiastic and passionate about a topic of discussion or bored and adjust teaching strategies accordingly. Next, low-energy AI might be provided through nanomagnetic computing. Researchers have demonstrated that small nanomagnets that interact like neurons in the brain may be used to accomplish artificial intelligence. The new technology, created by Imperial College London researchers, has the potential to reduce the energy cost of artificial intelligence AI, which is now doubling every 3.5 months globally. The worldwide team provided the first demonstration that networks of nanomagnets may be utilized to do AI-like processing in natural nanotechnology today. Nanomagnets can be utilized for time series prediction activities, such as forecasting and managing insulin levels in diabetic patients according to the researchers. Artificial intelligence that employs neural networks seeks to mimic the way neurons communicate with one another to process and store information in the brain. Physicists devised a lot of the math that powers neural networks to describe how magnets interact, but it was too difficult to utilize magnets directly at the time since researchers didn't know how to put data in and retrieve information. Instead, Typical silicon-based computers were employed to model the magnet interactions, which were then used to imitate the brain. The team has now been able to analyze and store data directly on the magnets, eliminating the need for a software simulation and possibly saving a lot of energy. Depending on their orientation, nanomagnets can exist in a variety of states. Scientists devised a method for counting the number of magnets in each state. The answer to an equation is given once the field has gone through. Nanomagnets are high-performance computers that process data in the form of a magnon wave. They process and transfer information using magnetic fields rather than the physical passage of particles like electrons. Nanomagnetic computing might be 100,000 times more efficient than traditional computing as a result of this. Researchers make progress in creating an electronic eye. Researchers at Georgia State University have created a new form of artificial vision device that uses a revolutionary vertical stacking architecture to allow for improved color recognition, depth, and microscale scaling. The new study was published in the prestigious ACS Nano Journal. This work is the first step toward our ultimate goal of developing a microscale camera for micro-robots. 
says the study's lead author, Associate Professor of Physics Sidong Li. With a focus on downsizing, we demonstrate the underlying concept and practicality of building this new type of image sensor. Using nanotechnology, Lei's team was able to establish the framework for a biomimetic artificial vision device that employs synthetic ways to replicate biological processes. Color recognition, the most important visual function, is improved through a biomimetic electric eye. Researchers created a revolutionary stacking technique that takes a fresh look at hardware design. Vertical color sensors, using van der Waals semiconductors VDWSS, are a relatively novel material class. Researchers anticipate that one day, the finding will lead to developments that will benefit the blind. The Georgia State University Office of Technology Transfer and Commercialization predicts that certain industry partners will be interested in this novel design. That's it for the day, guys. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.